Sony over the years have not only dominated the camera market, but also the Sydney camera market with their FS5, FS7 series cameras, and of recently, the FX9. Now today, rejoice because we have a brand new Sony cinema camera review just for you guys, the Sony FX6. And today we're also gonna film the full review on a Sony A7S III. But enough about that, let's see what the brand new Sony Cinema FX6 camera is all about. The Sony FX6 is a very unique cinema camera and one that is going to be a pretty popular one out in the market. First of all, what I love most about this camera is they've incorporated Sony's best features from their A series, such as the A7S III, into this camera in a form factor that is more familiar with cinema users and with the ergonomics that a more professional video person or a video enthusiast would appreciate using. So without further ado, let's go in and talk about the actual physical body of the Sony FX6. So what you're looking at now is the FX6 basically in its barest, most naked fashion. First of all, you can see that the body is nice and small. It's got a very compact form factor, but it is super light. The brand new construction on the FX6 makes it only weigh 0.89 kilograms, which is super light for something of this size. And with the reinforced body, it is dust and moisture resistant. So you can take it out and battle it against some pretty decent elements. Now, what I like most about the FX6, and this is with Sony's cinema lineup in general, is that the camera body itself is fully modular. Now, there are a couple things you can attach to this that come with the FX6. First of all, you have the side grip, which you would have seen me holding the camera earlier, which you can just put into the side, which gives you a various amount of control, such as zoom and record. And you've also got menu features as well. And secondly, the other attachment as well is the top handle. And the top handle is going to give you a lot of features. You can mount the HD uh, viewfinder on top of it. You've got your microphone as well. You do have two XLR inputs on the side and you've got your record button and a joystick for easy menu navigation and also focus control as well. And you do have a zoom in and out button and a little wheel for your adjustments. And there is your standard hot shoe at the top if you do want to mount a shotgun mic or a light or any other accessory on top. So now for the features I know you guys are here and want to know about. The Sony FX6, like the FX9, is the baby brother of that camera and sports a 10.2 megapixel full frame backside illuminated sensor. Similar to the A7S III, it does shoot 4K up to 120 frames per second and full HD up to 240 frames per second. In terms of the color space, it can record 10-bit 422 internally, DCI 4K, and you can output it to 16-bit RAW if you do have an external recorder. Now, in terms of low light performance, the FX6 sports a dual native ISO of 800 and 12,800. Now, on top of that, it does sport 15 stops of dynamic range. So for post-processing, this is gonna be your best friend. And now to go over some highlight features that I think will be very beneficial for videographers. So firstly, the FX6 does use E-mount. So you can mount all your FE mount lenses on there to get a large range of wide angle lenses, telephoto lens, and also lenses that would be great for video in that Sony lineup. You do have one of my favorite features is a built-in ND filter, but the FX6 gives you two options in terms of how to change that. Firstly, you can use the ND preset, which changes it up in presetted increments, or you have a linear mode, which if you swap it over, you can use this wheel, and basically you can gradually change from the bottom to the top or top to the bottom for your NDs, which I think is pretty neat, especially if you're just going to go for little incremental changes in light, which is very, very easy to do. In terms of power, you do have several battery options. For example, you can get this optional BPU100 battery, which is a high capacity battery from Sony and now makes your camera look a lot bigger, but you can record almost up to 300 minutes on this battery. 
but you can also plug in AC as well if you need constant power for those long conferences or lecture conferences as well. And speaking of long recording times, the FX6 does sport a built-in fan, so overheating issues, not a problem. And finally as well, in terms of the actual recording and something that is really important that was introduced in Sony's later video cameras is the S Cine Tone profiles. So you're gonna get those nicer skin tones if you're filming those weddings or just people in general, just give that little soft cinematic look. Now in terms of the autofocus performance, as I mentioned earlier, the FX6 does borrow some awesome elements from their Sony A lineup. It does have a really good autofocus performance, including eye detection as well, which I think is pretty neat. And like the A7S III, it does have the ability to have a stronger image stabilization performance in post using Catalyst. Now this is basically a software which has a unique algorithm, which only works with Sony cameras, and what that will give you is a really smooth image performance, which basically looks like it's on a gimbal, which is absolutely insane. And the FX6 is capable of using that software. Now, in terms of all the essential features that you would use as a cinematographer or a videographer, the FX6 does have, first of all, it does have a dual hybrid CF Express and SD card slot. Great for backing up or getting that extra record time. You do have your SDI inputs as well and a full-size HDMI port for your monitors. And thirdly, you do have your audio level controls on the side as well, which you can easily just turn. Or if you are on the fly and don't want to be manually adjusting your audio, there is a auto gain that you can use as well. And lastly, in terms of its modular performance, it does have plenty of screw mounts across the camera so that you can attach accessories to the camera if needed. And one thing I really like about the top handle adjustment on the FX6 is that these screws are actually spring loaded. So it's a lot easier to kind of just put them in and screw them and you don't have to really fiddle around with it too much. Now, one thing I did wish the FX6 did have was the XLR ports were located off the top handle and on the camera. Now I do understand that they've done this to kind of reduce the form factor on it, but if you do want to use the FX6 on a gimbal, you will need to mount the top handle on the camera, making it slightly top heavy. So is the Sony FX6 a good camera and why get it over the Sony a7S III? So in terms of why you would get it over the Sony a7S III, there are a long list of features. First of all, you can mount bigger batteries for longer record time. It's got inbuilt NDs so you can use them on the fly without needing to chuck on an external ND filter. You've got fantastic ergonomics which are a lot more suited to a video user in terms of its actual grip, the modulability with the grip and the top handle, and you've also got all your buttons that you need accessed on the side so you don't have to fiddle with menus. You've got heaps of great recording capabilities and less risk of overheating with its built-in fan. And finally, you do have your professional port options. So all in all, as a package, the Sony FX6 has it all. Sports the best features from the Sony A lineup. You've got all the ergonomics and features you would expect from Sony cinema cameras and backed up with Sony's innovation. For example, you've got S Cine Tone color in this so you can get those nicer, softer skin tones as well as the ability to put it through Catalyst to get you amazing image stabilized results. So if you have any questions on this Sony FX6, pop them in the comments below or head to our website or our blog, which are in our description for more information. And if you want to stay up to date with George's, follow our Facebook, Instagram, and our blog for all our updates on our latest events and promotions and any new products that are coming out. And as always, make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button so you don't miss out on our future videos. <laughs>